My name is Barbara Keller, and one of the key areas I focus on is supporting global business services organizations with finding the leadership talents. In our global business services practice group at President Partners, we had the chance to talk to many leaders across Europe and Asia Pacific and discuss their past experiences and their post-COVID expectations. We analyzed what went well, what caused challenges, and what SSC leaders expect to face in the next month in 2021. Automation. Automation gained ground in shared services in the past years, but in 2020, the pandemic accelerated these processes. But life proved that automation without people won't work. Technology alone will not solve problems, and in addition, digitalization possibilities depend largely on the maturity of the organization as well. Moreover, we all see that companies need additional investments due to COVID impact, and so budget will be a question. The solutions we found are that restructuring and establishing more and more end-to-end -end processes will be essential, driving towards digitalization while not forgetting the human factor. GBS leaders see their success in creating cross-functional teams and uh, possibly reorganizing siloed models. The aim is to establish an organization with the ability to change, find out how they can add more and more value to the business, and um, keeping the basic values in mind, staying cost and time conscious and effective. I think we can all agree that working will never be the same as before, but does work from home mean work from anywhere? People now want to work in different ways, and the notion that one team doing the same work needs to sit on the same location has been seriously challenged. It becomes vital to have an executive search partner with a footprint in many countries to access even remote leaders. In case there is a talent shortage in one location, we could then find it in another one. Most probably companies will show more flexibility in case they need a colleague with some rare skill sets, but uh, we don't expect fundamental changes, especially not on management level and not in the short term. What we think is that work weeks could also be affected. They might be more flexible and uh, we might have intense four days weeks or possibly we could have our work fragmented throughout the whole week. In the short run, we expect that remote and in-person jobs will coexist. And um, it will be interesting to see how this will affect how people connect. Surely there will be a need of high level interactions and uh, we will need people with great communication skills. What to recruit? IT, uh, data science jobs will be in high demand. The required skills will be quite the same as before. Project management, time management and organizational skills are essential. But for sure, companies look for professionals with flexible and make it happen approach and will also want to keep these talents but how to keep people engaged in a more digital environment. We saw a tendency that GBS organizations may act as talent incubators to the employees, and they may continue their career in the business. This is good both for the business and the employee, as this would enable a more efficient collaboration later on. Business centers shift today from transactional execution to solving business problems. So what we expect is that leaders will refocus on their people.